Don't get too comfortable at work. No, I'm a salary boy. I have my Zach. It's fine. You'll get fired, my guy. And then what? <laughs> Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Um, it brings us to Wealth Talks for this afternoon, brought to you by Alan Gray. We are joined in studio by award-winning comedian Tap the Guy, who is a brilliant creative entrepreneur who uses his gift of comedy to tell stories and to make a living. Like many other creatives uh, this year and the year before, the pandemic compelled him to look at business differently. And we find out how this finances or how his finances were impacted and what money and investments look like to him since then. Good afternoon to you, Tap. Uh, and thanks for coming through again. This is the first time you're here. So thanks for joining us on 99. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, it's not my first time here. Of course. Just I just on this show yeah. called Wealth Talks. I wish it was called Broke Talks because <laughs> then I would have been the perfect <laughs> guest. But thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to have you. Tap, uh, please do tell us what is your uh, money story. What are the lessons that you've learned about money as a child? And how did they shape how you look at money today? Uh, so my journey with uh, money, first of all, I grew up in this village called Pioneers Park. Mm, I'm a village. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my home village. Um, so that's where I grew up. And as a child, just as a minor in general, mm. my parents always just hooked me up with the things that I wanted. Like mm. I, I wanted a PS2. So you were lucky day. like that. Yeah, just, just as a kid. Yeah. So my view of money was a bit warped because mm. my parents just made things. That I didn't know what like real life was. Mm. But then when I started adulting... Mm, ooh, adulting is tough, hey? It's tough, 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 tough. I figured things out late. <laughs> I figured things out late. Yeah. So um, th- that's what I-, I wish I knew the value of a dollar early in life because then it would have better prepared me to be an adult, like appreciate the value of a dollar more and mm. all that. Yeah. Are you, are, you, uh, are you an investor, a saver, or, or a bit of both? Do you do Ideally, both? Ideally, I'm more of an investor. Mm. And my biggest investment currently is into my brand yeah because in the creative sphere that we're in you need to invest in your brand your image your reputation. That, that's what's gonna like get you that win in the end and bring in more money as exactly. well exactly yeah because with a solid brand and a solid reputation and a solid image in this industry <clears throat> is what you can use to leverage so ultimately um, investing yes. in yourself yes. is well, also a great yourself. way. So I invest myself in different ways. Mm. I always make sure my panga is fresh. It's not fresh right now because <laughs> I didn't want to be late for I the interview. I think it's fresh. I think it looks pretty fresh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so my, my name and my image, I go to the gym and stuff because as a performer, I need to look right for when I'm acting on screen, yes. when I go to meetings and all that. Mm-hmm. So these are the things that will give me the enough power to leverage myself to increase my fees, my writing fees as a script writer, increase my performance fees, increase my MC fees. And this leverage will never die down unless something terrible happens. Mm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what, what financial lessons have you learned uh, during the COVID pandemic, especially, you know, since it broke out last year and everything changed, especially for creatives who perform for a living on stage? What lessons, what financial lessons have you learned since the pandemic hit? Don't get comfortable at work. Okay. Don't get too comfortable at work. No, I'm a salary boy. I have my Zach. It's fine. You'll get fired, my guy. And then what? <laughs> Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Um, what's that? Disposable income. Multiple streams of income. Mm. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, multiple streams of income is important. Because and that's something that you've learned during yeah, this time. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. When, when COVID happened... That, that, that thing we saw, people are just going to the supermarket, buying all the toilet paper. <laughs> Other people were stocking up on their alcohol because the um, gave, gave us some time before they prohibited. Mm. Some people <laughs> they didn't have like a, a, a little piggy bank laying around somewhere yeah. because they depended on this salary that they get at the end of the month. Blow it. Mm. Be broke for an entire month. Blow the salary again. <laughs> so that's what we need to Stop. I think I think we also learned that uh, it's 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 safer to have a uh, a safety net in terms of finances, having a savings account because you never know what's going to happen, and these things happen unexpectedly out of the blue. So either having a safety net on the side, a savings account, is also a great lesson to learn, which is I something that I learned for myself this year: opening up a savings account and putting some money aside just for those rainy days because they are going to come. Please Tap, don't tell get us. Finessed. Oh, sorry, continue. See? Don't get finessed by some of these savings account because I open one at if oh, sorry, I'm not naming up anyone. I open one at a certain bank. Mm-hmm. They were telling me no, it's an investment. I was like twenty. I just got back from my cruise ship, and that's so why I wanted to invest my money. Yeah. I said invest it. Don't yeah. just use it. So I opened a savings account, some a call account. One year later, I check it grew like zero point zero 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 one percent. So mm-hmm. I'm like, mm-hmm. what? 
You but also you were, you were young and also you didn't really know much about investments and savings and things at that time. Now you must now have, uh, you're a bit older yes. and this is where you can now, you know, go out there and actually ask those questions about investments. What's the best way to invest? Where is the best place to invest in? And also what you're going to get back in return over the next few years. Rumor has T- it something called the money market. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Tough, tell us, how, how have your financial habits changed, uh, especially during uh, this time, especially as a creative entrepreneur? What changes, financial habits, have you picked up or dropped since the pandemic? Um, one that I've dropped and completely replaced with something else is there came a time when <clears throat> I realized that on a daily basis, I'm buying Monster Energy drink and a bag of peanuts. That I was like, <laughs> seven days a week, I would do that just throughout my day. Then I realized, whoa. I should probably buy less of this to save more money. Mm. But I realized that was the wrong technique. Instead of um, decreasing these small amount of things that you buy on a daily, which won't make a huge difference in your yeah, overall yeah. income, you should instead make more. Mm. So it's coming back to investing in my brand and building a strong enough rep that I do proper work, all my stuff is high quality, to start leveraging for bigger budgets. Yeah. More corporates will associate with the boy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> make more and then you won't have to give up these small little um, th- cravings and yeah. that you have because yeah. they don't really mess up your finances. Mm. You but you also say, you did you also, I mean with all the gigs, not all the gigs, but with the gigs that you did get during this time, do you reinvest the money that you make from that back into the yeah. brand that is Tough the Guy? Yes, definitely. Um, that's something I'm trying to do because I don't have the most followers. Mm. It's not easy being a stand-up comedian in Namibia. Um, but I do know that people know me. Yeah. I get yeah, married every single day. Yeah. I can't go outside. I wear a floppy these days because I don't want people to recognize <laughs> me. And still they is do. it that bad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the way I invest back into my brand is <clears throat> things like building a proper artist portfolio, mm. updating my YouTube channel, boosting my posts. Yeah. Just Those things cost image. money. It's yeah. Positioning. Mm. It's positioning in the market. That's and again, I'm it's saying. investing in, in the brand, exactly. in investing in yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Finally, uh, Tab, what are some of your your personal um, and also your business finance goals for for the foreseeable future, for the year, come short, yeah, short. close, long term now, future. now future, <laughs> the, the near Super future. Long term, <laughs> I want to, as a creative, creative entrepreneur, as you guys called me earlier, yeah, first time being called that, I'm feeling myself, no, 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 um, I, I'm taking notes from people like, let's say, dog, mm. Jay Z, I just said dog and Jay Z in the same sentence. Dog, Jay Z, <laughs> Diddy, mm. all these guys who first become successful as <clears throat> purely an artist, and then use their financial success and commercial success to get into the world of entrepreneurship. Yeah. So long term, I see myself if I ever hit like a big budget movie, maybe Netflix, a studio in Hollywood, but my script or whatever, I'm going to property. Mm. It's because I do not like to work. Yeah. I'm only in this because I'm. I only like doing things that I enjoy. So you want to be just chill at home and, and yeah. let the money work for you, Y'all basically. Y'all better pay my rent. <laughs> Y'all better pay. I want to just buy apartments and then chill. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's a great. That's a great uh, personal and business financial goal. Top. Thank you so much for for making time to come chat to us again. It's great to see you. And the fro looks looks absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. It thank does. You so much. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank Irish you. Man. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming through. Top. The guy in the studio, award winning comedian, and we're talking about his money story. If you missed out on the interview, guess what? You can always go onto the app and rewind and have a listen again. That was Wealth Talks.